welcome back we are doing the recording of 21st of november squad with testing we are going to talk about humility and that's what god wants us to put our complete attention towards so humility is something which can make other people melt they can have respect for you they can actually be comfortable around you and that's what god wants us to do he wants us to become somebody who's comfortable around everybody and everybody else is comfortable around us think about a person who tries to always poke into your conversation into your ideas and tries to prove that no you're not right you should change your ways of thinking or you should change your ways of behaving would you like to be with that kind of person similarly god wants us to do something in spirituality and he is guiding us on a daily basis and especially today and he's going to talk about humility so let's see what is his guidance today father says may you become a master bestower of happiness so when you don't put other people down when you listen to them quietly and nicely without giving your judgment people start liking you and you are actually bestowing happiness to them that means you are allowing them to express themselves in your vicinity as compared to always stopping them pinpointing the mistakes nagging them every single time so god says with your greatness of humility and receive blessings from everybody so you can bestow happiness with your greatness of humility and receive blessings from everyone the signs of greatness is humility and that's the most difficult thing or most scarce thing to find in this world today when we have body consciousness as we discussed in yesterday's lesson physical looks physical attainments physical property physical wealth accolades is all leading to ego and then god says if you have certain talents if you have certain habits which are better than others or uh, if you are known for certain virtues qualities within you even say humility even if you feel that oh i am a very humble person even having the ego of being humble is not humble right it's not exactly humility so god mentioned that yesterday so we can even be sounding egoistic so god here says then the more humble you are the greater you will naturally be in everyone's heart humility easily makes you egoless the seed of humility easily enables you to attain the fruit of greatness that means you can just have everybody comforting you everybody helping you out to move and reach out to that level as compared to you wanting to reach out to that level on your own all alone think about that you'll all be alone right completely alone and completely lonely when you want to move ahead or when we only want to move ahead of everybody else whereas a team can be only formed by a leader who's humble enough to let everybody move ahead with them so god then says humility is the easy way to receive blessings from everyone because you are allowing others to move ahead you are allowing others to express the viewpoint you are not negating them not putting them down you're giving them respect when you're listening to them and that is one sign of humility that you're giving respect to others when you're listening to them when you're not negating them when you are not saying no to everything when you're not pinpointing when you're not nagging about their way of thinking and accepting them as an individual being or a soul so humility makes you praise worthy humility makes a place for you in everyone's mind so the first person whom they would look towards for a suggestion would be you ask him to somebody who's always nagging will you go to that person for suggestions will you go to that person for any humble guidance no will you be praised worthy no so what is the method listen and humility is the first sign humility brings in patience also is the first sign that you are ready to listen then god says such a soul becomes a master bestower of happiness the same as the father because you have an ear and especially if you're a counselor if you're on the if you're in the line of counseling it needs a lot of humility to not judge somebody and still keep on listening and that's what we practice and that is what is taught to us in brahma kumaris listen not to judge be humble and sometimes we can go off track but yes god reminds us to come on track and that's where this blessing is there 
whenever we are going off track we get to know and we get to hear from the supreme creator through these beautiful blessings you too can learn about this in a deeper manner when you go and do your seven day course at brahma kumaris which is a initiation course of soul consciousness and body consciousness difference and you are allowed to choose whatsoever you have to choose there's no force and once you choose the right path whatsoever you feel is right for you then the godly guidance comes so do go ahead do learn that seven day course it's all done for free in 150 countries with the sumshanti